And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Suppressor Scouts. That's right, we're going to try a brand new card from um, our new expansion, Monuments of Power, uh, Stony Suppressor. So this is going to be a 2 mana unit that's a 1-3 that has all spells cost 1 more mana. There's a, there's a variety of different decks that this card could fit in. I think it's going to be a, a pretty powerful one, uh, making every single spell cost one more, uh, especially with like these Lee Sin decks and, and just these decks with gems and things like that. Make their spells cost one more could be very powerful. What we're going to do is we're going to put it just for, for today, kind of like an easy shell to put it into, is going to be a... Uh, a Demacia Bannerman Scout deck, and that's what we're going to be doing here. Um, <clears throat> I think Bannerman, just in general, is going to be an important card with Stony Suppressor. Whenever you you are playing Stony Suppressor, you're probably playing Bannerman as well, uh, because you want you you want uh, the the uh, the one three body isn't really that that good. You want to be able to grow it, and Bannerman can do that with with the Allegiance. Um, <clears throat> but besides that, st st other place to use Stony Suppressor is probably going to be with like a bunch of challengers. You can do that also, and maybe in like a, a, a Shen Fiora challenger deck. Because basically what you want is you want to be playing units that are uh, have effects of spells. And challengers kind of have like the effects of spells, um, how you're able to use challengers as removal. Shen uh, will be able to like attack and give a barrier, right? So like it's like you're casting the barrier card. So that's kind of what you want whenever you're building a Stony Suppressor deck. You either want to be real aggressive with all sorts of units, which is what we're going to be doing here, or you want to build it in like a mid-range deck with uh, units that are um, acting as spells. But we kind of have a little bit of that going on with us too, because you know we have like Fleet Feather Tracker, Laurent Protege, those things have Challenger. Your War Chefs gets to buff, so like that's kind of casting like casting a spell. And, you know, Quinn, Cythria, Genevieve, these are all real powerful units at the top end, which are more than just bodies. All right, so let's let's give this a try. As you all know, I'm not a huge fan of Relentless Pursuit, but I like it as a one-of. I think I think that's where it's really good. I don't really want to play more copies than that. Definitely thought about playing Concerted Strike instead of Repost. I kind of waffled back and forth of which one to play. We'll end up playing Repost here. You know, so if we have Suppressor out, do we want five mana Repost or do we want six mana Concerted Strike? You know, thought about which one, but we'll go with Repost. Anyway, let's give this a try. Let's try out brand new Stony Suppressor. We're going to play five games over in Ranked. That's what we always do. We'll see if we can hopefully go 3-2 or better. Maybe get that 5-0. That would be awesome. Yeah, so Suppressor could be could be good in Dragons. Yes. Yeah, you can use it in Dragons. I didn't use it in the Dragon deck that I played yesterday. Um, there's, there's some other really good 2-mana cards in that kind of deck. So definitely keeping Rangers Resolve in this kind of matchup, um, but we're going to need to get some cheaper cards. There we go. So this curve works pretty well. We can save our one mana here, not cap, use it on turn one, and just save it for Rangers Resolve. So that works just fine. And then we can have two drop, three drop, Bannerman. So I have six Bilgewater cards in here. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought I passed. I have six Bilgewater cards in here. I have, I have the three Misfortunes and then three of the Jagged Butchers. So those are my only Bilgewater cards as far as uh, Bannerman is concerned. That's a pretty good hand. Looks like a pretty good hand. Fortune favors the bold. So I don't have good attacks. Wow, yeah, their hand was awesome. Keep up, keep up. I don't think I can. You know, think can we go like Bright Steel Protector? Like, you know, can we wait? I don't think we can. To get rich. Everything's in place. This should be a pretty good uh, Ranger's Resolve for us. No, attack with that misfortune. Darn. Don't get ahead of yourself. Can you stomach this? So 
Very good Rangers Resolve. Yeah. Yeah, we had that yesterday happen also. Petty Officer get the 2-4. The we had that happen yesterday. Uh, yeah, that hurt for sure. That's a, a good buff for Island Navigator and Petty Officer. Especially with Island Navigator, how I, Island, Island Navigator can get you two 2-4s two with Scout now. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't like Tom Kench and Soraka together. We played those yesterday. Oh, come on. D Make it interesting for me. Had to hit my Valor. Like, out of all of these, the one thing I didn't want them to hit was Valor. Just like hunting thresher geese. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, I, I didn't like Tom Kench and Soraka together. I... I like both champions, but I just don't like the two of them together. My opponent just has the perfect make it rains. That this is, yeah, that's just perfect make it rains. That could not have gone any better for them. That could not go any better. So yeah, I, th I think both both Soraka and Tom Kench are good cards, but I just don't. I didn't really like them together. I, th I think that they're kind of both better individually. And so that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna be playing Soraka. We're gonna try Soraka in a different spot with Vladimir. That's something that some people have been asking to see. And then we're also gonna try Tom with Ash. Just calling that Tom's cold cuts. They don't break, they'll burn. For the glory of Noxus. You've got your back. Through the coral. So yeah, I've been thinking about it the last few days, but Make It Rain definitely seems like it, it should just be a three mana spell, not a two two mana spell. How it's doing three damage, targeting three things, and then of course whenever you start pairing it with powder kegs, how strong that is. It does just feel like it's a, a three mana card. So I'd love to be able to play Sithria and Misfortune this turn. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. It's gonna be tough. Them killing that Valor. Basically, just their last turn with those two Mega Reigns was just pretty silly. So we need them to. Three, two. Yeah, that's just how it is. So basically, we need them to draw something that doesn't do any damage. You know, something that does no ne nexus damage to me. So some kind of unit that does no nexus damage. I don't know exactly what that draw stuff's looking like, but that's what we need. Like even if that make it rain just didn't kill any of those three units. If it just didn't target. If that second make it rain, there's five targets, the three that it hit, if it would have hit any one of the other two, like we would have been just fine. Wanna be like Jagged Butcher. No, we've already played a couple Jagged Butchers. Monkey Idol? Okay. So that's fine. Is because of Sithria. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, Misfortune. Oh, no. Misfortune. So I... Oh, no. Misfortune's ability is going to kill this stupid powder monkey that's going to kill me. 
Yeah, so, okay, so we have to... Yeah, we gotta do this, don't we? We have to just replace Misfortune with Quinn. Okay. So now... Attack like this, make sure Cythria is last. So these are all fearsome, so the only thing that the Powder Monkey can block is the Cythria. There we go. GG's. I am surprised we won that. We got some luck happen with our last two draws. It's possible you don't even need another champion with Soraka. Because you're, you know, it's basically you want Soraka and you want the landmark to go along with Soraka, and that, that landmark's kind of like your other champion, to be honest. Alright, let's try to get cheap units. Mm. That, those mulligans were about as bad as we could have. Wow. Wow. Every six drop. A chill in the air. So Reckoning is the card that just kills us immediately, and so I wanted to try to kill them before Reckoning. No, we when Ray. No, we've been been streaming here. I haven't seen any new video. Yeah, this is just awful. Just all four mana cards and six My mana cards. Our deck is designed to need to curve out and we can't we just can't afford to have a game like this so that's just gonna happen sometimes uh, you know, we have nine one drops uh, we do have you know nine one drops and seven two drops and six three drops so you think it wouldn't happen too often but you know sometimes it just it does I suppose. Definitely assume they're going to be playing Reckoning. But I guess that's just how it is. I guess that's how it is. Definitely considered... Um, considered passing... Playing old decks? I mean, this one, I mean, I guess, yeah, like, we're playing Scouts with Stony Suppressor. I mean, look look at the decks that we're playing on the left. We're playing Vladimir, Soraka, Tom's Gold Cuts, Crown, the Crown Guard Vaults. Nothing gets between me and my mark. We're playing four decks today. It is me! Probably a frostbite spell. No! <laughs> All right, so I'll play this because I am going to be attacking with Stony Suppressor as well. Now it doesn't make any sense to attack with Stony Suppressor. Right on. So if I would have played the Suppressor before attacking, they would not have been able to just do that with the uh, Brittle Steel plus Culling Strike. Enough. 
don't quite have enough mana to do Genevieve. Uh, you know, yeah, we can't just quite do Genevieve plus, you know, Grizzled Ranger or Vanguard Bannerman. Unfortunately, I'm going to go Grizzled Ranger with Bannerman over just Genevieve. Yeah, so we're only we're only two games in. This is our first time drawing Stony Suppressor, and you know, drew it in the late game. Um, our hand this game was just pretty awful of just like three four mana cards and three six mana cards right away, like after mulliganing. It, we were just super slow for our scout deck and and of course, you know, Reckoning is just a card that destroys us. Our opponent had Reckoning before, they may have another one now. Um, that's just a card that destroys us too. But I think this is like this is definitely a deck that can take take good advantage of Stony Suppressor. Um, it's a deck that can turn Stony Suppressor into being a real threat. I think that's something that you want instead of just being one power. I think that's important. The trap is set. Let's music down just a little bit. Yeah, having Suppressor early, uh, certainly more valuable than late. I, apologize to your parents. I hope they have Harsh Winds in hand, so they can't cast. Sure, taking all the time. Still got them down to one. Break their spirits and their swords. All right, so still got them down to one. Even with the really poor hand that we had. And so since we weren't doing anything, then they weren't doing anything. Alright. This is what I like to see. So we got Lee Sin. Let's see how our Stony Suppressor is. Wow, we cannot get cheap cards, can we? There's some cheap cheap cards. I think this is our first time seeing like one drops. Hello. Alright, so we're gonna try out. You know, turn two Stony Suppressor. We'll see how that goes. Let's leave with Fleet Feather Trekker. No, I, I already... I did attack with the Scout before the Reckoning. Unhelpful Yoda. I did not miss that. Last game. Like, those are going to trade anyway, you know, don't let them just continue to get more gems. Hey, Mamba Man. I'm actually here. New recruit reporting in. So trying to keep these gems down. This is going to be a good Bannerman. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. That should cost three mana. No prey, no pay. Enter, traveler, and stop sure. staring. You can play a 1 1. I guess. Man, we have such good options. 
If we go Grizzled Ranger this turn, we will be able to go Bannerman and Relentless Pursuit next turn. But, you know, maybe I just go Bannerman this turn, and then Grizzled Ranger and Relentless Pursuit next turn. Yeah, Bannerman's got to be better. It missed? No. <laughs> we have five Bilgewater cards. So doing that to be able to play Pale Cascade also, probably gonna probably gonna take down Misfortune, but I don't know, maybe they need to kill Stony Suppressor. I'm too airborne. Yeah, we gotta just gotta kill Stony Suppressor. That's 10 cards. They don't get to draw a card. GG's. Good job, Stony Suppressor. Well, that looked really good. Well, we don't... Alright, we got discard aggro. This is going to be a... It's gonna be a race. You know, it's gonna be who can be faster. Right, gotta look for some cheaper cards. I wish we had the attack token on turn two with the the tracker protector, but I guess we have the attack token turn three for misfortune. Maybe I just lead with Scythria. Yeah, sure. Because basically, like, Jury Rig means I definitely don't want to play the Fleet Feather Tracker because of Jury Rig. I'll do my best. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm glad we don't play Tracker. Because even if I play Tracker and they play nothing and pass, I can't really attack because of Jury Rig. Um, and I guess we'll just save Bright Steel Protector. Because obviously we definitely want Fleet Feather Tracker with Misfortune. Definitely want this. No. Grizzled Ranger, but we could also go like Bright Steel Protector Barrier. No, I guess it's just Grizzled Ranger and we just take the hit. Yeah, I think we just take the hit. <clears throat> so if I don't block, they don't get to play Vision. You know, if I if I block like these things, they could get to vision and stuff like that, and then that's that's annoying. Oh man, Quinn. All right, what's better, Quinn or Protege plus Protector? I guess it's Quinn. Yeah, they both put five power into play, but Quinn gets to attack twice. Yeah, vision's gonna be just a, kind of a problem, a little bit, I guess. Maybe not, though. Hey. Harvey just likes to bark sometimes. See? There she is. Love ya. It's alright, Valor. You died a hero. Hmm. 
So if they, if they have vision, that's six, and then like seven, eight, nine. Okay, they have get excited with vision. Darn. Defeated. Not Too many. Yeah, Legion drummers for the challengers, and you have what two challengers in the deck? All right, pretty easy mulligan decisions. Mulligan the expensive cards. So in general, I think that Fiora Shen is is favored in this matchup because they they go bigger. Like we're both playing some mid range units, but they go bigger. So it'll be interesting to see how Stony Suppressor kind of plays. Now Stony Suppressor is going to be very weak to Fiora, of course, but it is going to um, make their life of like playing spells more difficult. Not sure if I want to go Protégé or Bright Steel Protector. Like, playing Protégé gets blown up more by a barrier card on their side. Or playing Bright Steel Protector doesn't. Got your back. But Bright Steel Protector could protect Stony Suppressor um, on the way back through, like, a Fiora. Protect and strike. I wonder what, like, passing here does. Like, if we just don't make this attack. It's like, I make this attack. No, I guess we do it. Oh, I, I don't know why Stony Suppressor is not attacking, by the way. It should be. Sorry. I was just going to be saying, so yeah, they, they, they're able to play Fiora now. Like, if I pass, they're not able to play Fiora. So next turn, they would have Fiora plus four mana. The fate of mortals so yeah, spirits definitely consider just passing. Maybe I should have. But we got to eat their one mana unit for free by attacking. Now they can eat my two mana unit for free. How you doing? All right, so they want to play spells going to cost more. They should be at 14. <laughs> I should not have missed that one point of damage. That could certainly cost me. So I make this attack, we do 8 damage to them, put them down to, or 7 damage to them, put them down to 8. I could also pass, and then they waste all their mana. Like, what if I pass? I think I like that. I sense an imbalance. Oh god. Try me. No closer. Because this forces them to play repost and not something else. I, I really wish on turn three I would have passed. Not let them play Fiora and Shen before attacking. I regret that quite a bit. I think that's that's the decision that make cost me this game. Alright, I'm playing a Scythria, Scythria, Scythria. I like the Ranger's Resolve draw that lets me use my one spell mana. Oh no, no, I can't use my one spell mana. Because it's going to cost two mana. Oh no, no, they killed Stony Suppressor. Never mind. <laughs> Stony Suppressor down. Counter and strike. Our wills align. So this is just game, right? 
Pretty sure. Oh, no, we're only putting him down to two? No, we're only putting him down to two. Which I should have done the one damage before the Stony Suppressor. So basically, where I mess up this game. So turn three is where I mess up this game. If I don't make that attack turn three, then on turn five, I would have been able to attack. Because they would have had it, they would have, it would have taken them more time to, um, you know, play their Fiora on turn four, like turn five, they're playing their Shen. I'm able to attack there. We would have been able to do a lot more damage than what we did on turn three. And would have been able to set this up better. So obviously I can't attack because the Fiora kills me. The Fiora is at three out of four. My only hope is, is drawing Repost. Them not having a fight spell. The King Koo go where they are needed. So that's a just like I mentioned at the very beginning, I think that's a matchup where they're very favored, and I want to see how Stony Suppressor did. And I don't know, Stony Suppressor did a little bit of work, but it it is very weak to Fiora, as we saw in that game. Um and so, like they, they just had a very good, a very good hand. They, they counter Raw's doing, but I think that um, turn th turn three is is really where I, I should not have attacked because I did I did let them play the Fiora, and then and then play the Shen right afterwards. Um, yeah, that was the turn that that I should not have attacked. I know I didn't attack turn five where how it looked, it looked like if I would have attacked turn 5, then we would have dealt the 7 damage and then then maybe we would have killed them. Then maybe we would have had enough damage, but they would have been able to play a lot of spells. They would have taken out two of my units, and so at that point, I don't think I was going to be getting in the extra damage with, with two of those units dead. <laughs> yeah, Fiora is, yeah, Fiora is uh, very difficult to play against. Um, <laughs> yeah, you try to kill her 5 times, it never works. Yep, that's how it is. So, um, yeah, Fiora is, cause you know, we're not, we're not like really interacting, right? We have five total spells and one of them is a Relentless Pursuit. So we're not really interacting. And so then a card like Fiora just, is just going to, just going to kill you. Like when you're just playing all small units. So that's a bad matchup. So I think our deck looked okay. You know, we ran into some, some bad matchups like that. And we just ran in like, so we went two and three, but our deck. So we had we had the the bad matchup with the Fiora, where if you know if they have the turn three Fiora and, and just protect it the whole time, you just can't really win, and that's that that happened one game. And then we had that other game that we lost, that we just had a, a ridiculously bad hand, where <laughs> after mulliganing, all we had were four mana and six mana guards, um, and we didn't have like any of these any of these ones. We had we kept a bright steel protector in hand and mulliganed our other three cards. And didn't draw anything that cost one, two, or three. Only like with the three card mulligan, and then our our first few draws, they were just all four and six mana cards. It was just ridiculous. So that was our second loss. So like those are you know like that's besides that we were uh, two and one. You know with our other loss being to just a, just got outraced by the discard burn deck um, with their uh, just bevy of elusives and pump spells on the elusives so we got out raced there but it was a close race right like we had them down to two so you know like all three of those losses are are very understandable i i think that i think our deck looks pretty good and i i think i like stony suppressor here and i think that i would be i'd be pretty confident in doing well just playing just running back this exact list um and uh playing five more games i'd be pretty confident in going uh in having a, a good record I like this, the Sith 3 of the Bold look good. You know, Bannerman look good. That kind of stuff. So I think our deck looked good, but just we, we just ran into some some corner case scenarios where we were losing a few games. And that happens. You know, like that's that's just uh, rune terror. You know, that's going to happen. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd really appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.